This is a $50 plate of armor. This is about a $150 plate of armor. In this video, we're going to shoot both of these and figure out if you can get your bang for your buck. I want to thank AR500 for sponsoring this video. They did a fantastic job at giving us a lot of body armor to test. These two different body armors here, this is a solid steel AR500 plate, and this one right here is gonna be a steel AR500 plate coated with an anti-spalting material. Now the difference is this costs $50, this costs about $130. If this is all you can afford, fantastic. Um, you can slide that right in a backpack and this will stop. We're, we're gonna figure out what this is gonna stop in a minute here. This right here, this level three plus body armor, so you get a little bit extra protection. This should stop high penetration 5.56 five, bullets, but this is also going to be able to, the fragmentation of that bullet when it makes contact with this material, it's gonna catch that fragmentation. So nobody else around you or yourself will get um, cut or hurt by that fragmentation. That can be very dangerous. So we're gonna experiment with the difference here. We're gonna put some cantaloupes next to this and we're gonna be able to see what the effect is of, of that spalding. We place the cantaloupes next to the target to simulate body parts. And we're gonna see how much of that shrapnel coming off of those bullets affects those cantaloupes. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna shoot it with is the nine millimeter ball out of my Walther PPQ. Here we go. All right, let's see what we have down here. All right, so this one here from the impact, uh, no damage whatsoever. Oh, actually, uh, a little bit, a couple little scratches here, but that one rolled behind the, the armor as I was hitting it, and there's no damage to this. So we can see that the transfer of energy is actually pretty low. So that's actually pretty good survivability. Uh, Mr. Joe here, he's doing just fine. All right, so we have some good hits on target, uh, and so we can see that we have a lot of damage there from the spalding for the left and the right. Let's see what we got going on over here. This one is almost completely destroyed. Let's see what we got. Okay, this is it. This is what we're looking for. So that little piece of lead right there uh, came off this target and cut into this melon. Let's see what else we can find. This is pretty devastating damage. So this is gonna be the difference between that $50 plate and that other little, that other high-end plate. So that high-end armor is coated with a double layer of spalding protection. What happens is it catches the spalding. So right now, all that, all that spalding is, is just splattering across and we are, we're obviously seeing the results of that uh, being pretty devastating and cutting into these, into these watermelons, or into these uh, cantaloupes here. So we already know that with even just nine millimeter, it's failed on its ca ca capacity to protect these melons to the left and the right. Uh, so let's just go ahead and check the penetration and try a couple other bullets. All right, so next we're gonna be doing these 62 grain bullets. A little bit heavier, they're green tip, they have a steel penetrating core inside of them, so they're supposed to be a little bit better at penetrating. Uh, we're gonna see what happens. All right, there we go, clear. So I tried to hit all in the same spot to really weaken this body armor as much as I can, but as you can see, there's a couple overlapping shots here, a little bit around here, but um, we definitely didn't have any penetration whatsoever. Absolutely no damage to the back of that piece of armor. Um, we can obviously see that uh, this, this melon got a little chopped up. Um, this one did a little bit okay. This one did all right, but still definitely took a little bit of damage. Um, but we have complete and absolute protection. Absolutely incredible. So next we're going to be shooting a 12 gauge slug at the target. Uh, it's pretty much the most powerful round that this gun can put out. Um, we're going to see what happens.
All right, so after shooting it with the 12 gauge slug, there was a sl very, very slight indent in the back, but absolutely no penetration through there. Um, I will say that there was a lot of energy transfer into that target. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it again. I put the melons behind it, so we're gonna kind of see what happens. Uh, well, we're gonna see what happens. All right, let's go check out those melons. Well, not a ton of damage, but uh, definitely took, there's a flat side there, so it definitely took a big impact. That'd leave a bruise for sure. I think the rock might have protected it. I think it slammed it underneath the rock and then the rock protected it a little bit there. Yeah, so here's here's where both of the hits were. Um, and you can see, you can actually see the, the spall thing actually skimming across the top here and leaving those that splatter mark all the way out. You can't really see it, but you can feel it. The dent's right here, a little bit of an impact. Let's see if I can hold it sideways. You can kind of see that it's not exactly as flat as it once was. All right, so my final thoughts on this $50 piece of armor here is, is that it will stop pretty much everything you need it to. It absolutely stops it. But does it really eliminate the threat of being hurt? Nah, not exactly. Um, if you put this in a backpack, uh, some of the backpack might eat up some of that spalding. Um, and uh, as long as you're behind the armor, I think you'll be fine. But if you're to the left or the right of it, um, well, you're not in a good place. Next. All right, so next we're gonna be shooting this piece of, well, essentially it's the same body armor, AR-500 steel here. This is um, the level three plus, so it's gonna be able to stop a little bit more than that level three, although we couldn't get through the level three, so they definitely make a good product. This is approximately $150. What it has here, what we're looking at here, is we have a double buildup of an anti spalding cover. It's significantly thicker, so the steel's not that much thicker, but the uh, the buildup is actually in front here. And so this is gonna be the strike face, and as the bullet makes contact with it, uh, this kind of plastic like substance that's kind of built up here is really going to just catch that spalding and we're going to see if we have any subsequent damage on the last fifty dollar piece of armor found that it failed the spalding test just with the very first round with that nine millimeter so we're going to go ahead and start with that nine millimeter and uh, see if we can get positive results in the spalding test We have some new melons out there. They're nice and fresh. So any damage to those melons will be a result of this shooting. All right, I'm out. Let's go see what we got. With the $50 armor, we heard that loud tinging noise which was the steel ringing. If we notice, we didn't hear anything out of this. Um, and that's just going to be because, not because I missed, but because that steel is is tightly compact with that, that rubberized plastic um, that's going to catch the, um, the spalding, and so um, it, it dampens the sound um, and impact probably. All right, let's go see what we got. All right, so here we have the impacts. You can see them, these very small little holes here. We saw very little damage here, and if we look at our melons, this is what really is interesting. Not a single scratch. Not a single dent or scratch on these melons whatsoever. Absolutely perfectly preserved. Um, we grab this guy here. We have some splitting. So there's, right there, that's our rubberized plastic, uh, specially engineered uh, spalding uh, material, or spalding catching material. Uh, and if you can kind of look inside there, you can probably see a lot of the fragmentation of those rounds. So we have 100% success right there. That's the steel plate there. You can see that separation, there's the steel plate. Here's our strike face, this is where the buildup is, this is where the thickness is. And you can see uh, you have that delamination, but still very effective at catching. So as I kept shooting, I got a good 10 rounds on target, and um, and completely positive results, so it, it never failed. So now that we have a very positive uh, effect with that nine millimeter, we're gonna go ahead and move up to the next round.
we shot six rounds on target and we can see that this melon here is in perfect absolute great condition now i'm gonna say i might have slipped a little bit and that is an absolute impact so i shot the melon um but we don't see any of the spalding around here um but here are the impacts here there's another one right there that 45 acp it's still holding up and still going great that's my fault so that doesn't count but we see that there's no damage to this one over here on this side uh, we still have positive performance even though we have a delamination um, we're still making hits on contact and still no spalding we're going to go ahead and jump up to the ar-15 and see what happens so now i'm going to start off with the uh, normal 55 grain five five six rounds we're going to do 10 rounds on target um, probably try to get them all in the, pretty close in the same spot there we're going to check that out and then we're going to use those green tip high penetrators get 10 rounds on target and really test this uh, anti-spalding material um, all right, let's see what we can do. Well, that was only eight rounds, but I ran out, so I didn't count before we started. And we're running low on batteries, so well, let's just go see what we got. All right, so we're now we're starting to see some significant damage here. So 10 rounds of that that 556 five, ammunition really kind of took the chunks out of here. I think uh, the delamination from the 9 millimeter really allowed that to happen. Um, and we saw a little bit, a little bit of that spalding. And now this could be lethal. We don't know how deep that went. Um, we saw some soft, um, some bleeding there. Um, Let's see. Oh, we got some chunks of rock in the back here. Hmm, interesting. Anyway. Um, all right, but we have no damage on this piece here. None whatsoever. That's very nice and clean. All right, now we're doing that green tip high penetrator. See what's going to happen. All right, that last shot, I hit the rock. Um, but let's go see what happened. All right, so I hit the rock here. Um, that definitely had a little bit of shrapnel. Uh, we don't really have much more spalding on this. I probably should have turned it and readjusted it. But this one right here is still in perfect, absolute perfect condition. So I shot those 10 rounds, I think, a little high. But we don't have, it's still catching everything, all these bullet fragments. Let's check the back to make sure we have zero penetration. And as expected, we definitely have absolute zero penetration. Um, well, these are the melons from before. They've gotten a little smashed up. Let's pull these guys up. All right. So we can see some bullet fragments there. Um, let's see what we got when I tilt this guy sideways and kind of give it a little bit of a tap here. What are we working with? All right, you can see those little pieces of lead. This thing is certainly catching a lot of bullet fragments. So now we're gonna lay into it with the 12 gauge and see what happens. Here we go. So that was one of the slugs. All right. So that slug hit right there for sure. And uh, still no damage whatsoever to this melon here. I'm gonna go ahead and set that guy a little closer. All right, last slug. Here, this is the first slug hole. That's that second hole, and we still have absolutely no damage to this melon whatsoever. Uh, this melon right here, actually we do have a tiny little piece of shrapnel stuck right there, and we have a little bit of penetration right there. Um, so it's definitely squeezing out the left side a little bit more. So even with that armor completely, uh, essentially blown over, uh, that seven pound piece of armor, there's a lot of force, so I shot almost in the same spot there. We have zero penetration as would be expected uh, not even an indent on the back 
Um, and then this this melon here, it got punched, it got hit, so it's got a little cut right there from the from the impact of this thing moving. But absolutely no spalding on this melon. That's still edible. This one right here, we see tiny bit there, a couple little pieces here. Um, so definitely someone's squeezing out this left side. Uh, but these are one ounce slugs. That is a lot of lead being contained in there. All right, we're gonna take this thing that has uh, about 30 bullets in it. M many, many more rounds and should be expected for this thing to be able to take. If all you can afford is a $50 piece of armor, this is a fantastic option. This is incredibly passive, can definitely stop bullets and is very likely to save your life. If you're a professional and if you're looking to upgrade a little bit and you're really worried about that spalding um, or that splash, this is uh, an absolute fantastic, fantastic piece of armor. This armor did a fantastic job at uh, catching that spalding long after its, its useful um, time. It took about 30 rounds or so. Um, it was incredible. Those first 10 rounds of 9mm, not a single, not a single spec came out. So I would definitely use this armor. It definitely has a lot of applications, uh, like maybe as back armor, for example, if you didn't want to buy a front plate and a back plate, uh, if you don't really think that that back armor has as much value, but you definitely want the stopping power. Another another place you could put this is uh, you can put it in the uh, the back of your seat of your car if you're worried about somebody shooting you while you're driving. Um, there's a lot of applications to this, a lot of places you could put this. You could stick this in a suitcase or in a backpack, um, and it'll definitely do a great job. Uh, but if you're looking for that more professional performance, this is very inexpensive at only uh, 150 bucks or so. Um, and that's, so it's $25 for the extra build up on here. Um, it's, uh, I think the plate's normally about 80 bucks or something, and then there's some other, uh, I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, this, this plate here is uh, absolutely fantastic. Go to AR500 Armor and check them out.